Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about trappers. And I figured that since uh, Doom Crew Outdoors just did his trapper collection, and Pete was showing some of his on Jersey Knife Guy, some of his trappers in his collection, uh, I thought, well, now's a good time since I'm reviewing a case trapper, I'll go ahead and go through my case trapper collection as of right now. And one of the things that you guys, I do have a link for uh, Doom Crew Outdoors uh, channel in the uh, description box below. So do me a favor, go over there, take a look at his collection. He's got some really nice case knives and I, I like his style. I think you guys ought to go check out his channel. He's a young channel, just starting out. Uh, definitely, you know, go give him a look and see if it's some stuff you like. I think I think you will. The uh, other channel that I wanted to uh, give a little shout out to is uh, Big J's Knives. And he uh, also, young channel, just started out. Uh, links to both are in the description box. Uh, they were definitely, uh, you know, worthy to put on the list. And so let's uh, let's go over and show those guys some love. Uh, you know, if you if you feel like it, you know, it's not mandatory. Like everything else, it's a choice. But I think that, you know, it's it's good for us to look outside of, you know, everything. And sometimes you get some nice new content to watch in, in a new perspective. You know, so I think uh, that's a good thing to do. So don't uh, don't take it that it's a, a command or anything, but uh, just a nice thing to do. That's all. But anyways, before we get on to the yellow trappers, uh, let's kind of go through... Well, I guess we could start with the yellow trappers. People ask me all the time, why do you like trappers? Because they don't like them for whatever reason. And the only reasons I can think of that somebody doesn't like them is that, you know, let's face it, we all are creatures of habit and choice. So if you think that this knife is too big, if it's too bulky, you don't like to carry it, it's not the right size, you're not going to. Uh, we can go over all the great things that make these knives great, and I will in a second. The other thing people don't like is they don't like the spade blade. And, you know, you'll hear a lot of hate on the spade blade because they don't like how it looks and all this other stuff. I, I just, you know, if you don't like the style of it, I can't change your mind because you're just not going to like it. In your mind, it's ugly. But it's just as useful as any other blade shape, you know, and we'll we'll go over that too. Uh, Doom Crew actually had a, a fantastic thing. I won't take it away from his video. I won't include it in this one. But if you go watch his, he makes a great case for the spay blade. And we'll just leave it at that. Uh, you know, other people, it's just not their style. They like more modern knives. They want thumb studs. They want flippers. They want it, an automatic. They want uh, different scale choices. Uh, you know, they want to be able to take the knife apart and all this other stuff. You know, that's all fine. Other people, they say case is uh, horrible, QC and stuff like that. And we can look at the at the QC on these. Uh, and some people say it's not good enough for them and, and that's okay. You know, you it's your money. You know, when you go to buy a knife, you're making your choice and you're, you know, basically spending your money. So if it's something that you like, great. If it's something that you don't like, then, hey, you don't like it, it's okay. Uh, you're not gonna get any grief from me if you decide that you don't like trappers. Uh, but I would like you to at least, you know, give them a look, see if you like it. Because when I see trappers, they just they just make me nostalgic. You know, that's it. I, I feel nostalgia. So, you know, I have basically a full grip on this knife. It's a nice big knife. It's very comfortable to use. Uh, two great blades, and they're both full-size blades. So it's not like some traditionals where you get, you know, a clip and a pen. You know, you're getting a full-size spay blade here. And some people, you know, like I said, they, they like it, they get it. Other people don't. All I can say is give it a try, and you just might get it, you know, that why we like these things so much. You know, is it a, is it a big knife? Yeah, it kind of is. I kind of like that, you know, and I think a lot of other people do too. You know, it's not really that big. It's just a little over four inches. 
you know, but uh, I think that if you give it a try, you just might like it. But enough about this. We'll go over the yellow knives uh, in a second, but we'll go over my case knives. And I have a couple variations on the, uh, on the Trapper too. We'll start with uh, one of my more recent ones, which uh, this was uh, a gift for my birthday. And this is that beautiful uh, Freemasons uh, tribute knife. And I love this knife. It's just, it's beautiful. And you look at the, look at your back springs and you look at the gapping on that. There's not really anything that you can see that's wrong with it. I mean, beautiful blue bone and a, and a unique Freemasons uh, emblem there. So that is really cool. Serial numbered knife. I love how Case does the uh, bone treatment on here, the way they dye them. You, you just aren't going to get any better. And it's got the uh, serial number there because uh, this was a serial numbered one. And this is one of the knives that actually has some script on it uh, in search of more light and less fingerprints. <laughs> but it's a fingerprint magnet. What can I say? But I just, I love this knife. I love my uh, brother-in-law, Randy, gave this to me. He's an awesome dude. I'm so happy that he's, you know, my brother-in-law. I couldn't ask for for better. He's really a friend of mine. So uh, that makes it even better. You know, it's not just it's not just family, but somebody that you look forward to, you know, visiting and seeing and, and family get-togethers are always a joy at his place. So we'll just set that one up here. That way they can, uh, you can see all of them as, as, the, as the collection grows. Uh, this was actually my first uh, trapper. Uh, that was a case trapper and there you go it's in the uh, amber peach seed peach seed jig bone i always have trouble saying that on camera but uh, what can i say uh beautiful bone covers this is like their their flagship uh bone uh this and the other trap actually most of my trappers are in the uh, true sharp stainless steel i need to increase my cv uh collection and, and that's for sure. So I definitely have a lot that I want to go do that. Here is one that uh, Rick from uh, Warthog channel, definitely another channel you should check out if you haven't. He gifted me this. This is the Curly, uh, I think it's Curly Maple. I, I don't remember the exact name. I'd have to go find the box. But again, you can look at the uh, fit and finish. It's got a little scuff there on the back spring but nothing bad and look at that wood i mean that is just absolutely gorgeous you know i don't know how they how they do all this stuff but uh, i love the federal shield on it as well which was a, a nice touch uh something else and just look at that just a gorgeous knife you know and just makes me happy let's go over a couple uh well actually i guess i'll go over this one this this one here, this yellow trapper, this is one my wife got. Uh, this is one that my wife gifted me. I got all tongue tied just thinking about her, <laughs> and uh, this was fantastic because it was a surprise, and uh, I had wanted a yellow trapper uh, for the collection for the longest time, and uh, when I got it, you know, she had not really checked it out, and it was in uh, the True Sharp stainless. And uh, she says, oh, she goes, that's the, in the uh, the SS uh, stainless? I said, yes. And she says, uh, I guess now you'll have to get one in CV. And I was like, wow, she's been paying attention to all this stuff. It's amazing. So I'm very thankful for that one, too. I have a couple of variations. I do have a, a slimline trapper, which I, I do like. It's a single-bladed knife. Uh, but we can go over this. It hasn't been on the channel lately. Uh, this is in synthetic brown. Uh, and this uh, one was a, a special that they had at uh, Shepherd Hills uh, Cutlery a while back. And so at uh, the last uh, last year. And so it's uh, definitely been a really cool knife. I like the Slimline Trappers. Uh, my only regret is that I don't have more of them. But uh you know, hey, everything in time, right? So we'll set this guy down because he's also a full-size knife. But for the people that say that the trapper is too big, 
remember we have the mini trapper and the mini trappers are kind of cool this one is in the orange synthetic and i like this one and what's different is that these guys have half joint half uh stops the square joints and uh you know they're really a very cool blade the clip is just a little bit slimmer on them and you still get a full size uh spade blade that so these guys are about three and a half inches whereas these guys are a little ab ab above that they're like a four and an eighth uh the second one i have of the mini trappers is this uh army special and it had the uh stars on the uh bolster and stuff what i liked about this one was not only uh did it uh, kind of commemorate my service in the uh, u.s army but it's also the only uh, one I have that has a variation blade or whatever, instead of a spade blade, it has a Warncliffe. And a lot of people like this configuration. I like it too. I think it's very cool. Uh, that's a configuration that's in the mini trapper. I wouldn't mind seeing it in the full size trapper. I think that that'd be cool. Oh, and this is in, uh, the, uh, antique, uh, bone, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous. You know, and like I said, fit and finish on these knives is really A-OK -okay and perfect with me. I really, you know, don't have any issues with any of the cases that I had. We'll knock on, knock on wood. And that brings us to this guy here, which checks off a couple of other boxes. This is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive uh, case trapper in 1095. And this is really cool. Now, these blades, they don't have a mirror finish or any other kind of uh, polish finish. They were sold as is. So I'm guessing they took it right out of, uh, you know, where they, you know, run it through the, uh, you know, polisher or whatever. Or maybe it's before the polishing step. And they just, you know, after they stamped it. And so they just gave us these blades as they are. But here is our wonderful spade blade. And as you can see here, it has its USA for where it's made. The pattern is a 3254 and it's in 1095 carbon steel. And for those that aren't familiar with the case uh, pattern numbers, the three is talking about the uh, cover material. So that's the yellow synthetic. Two is for the number of blades, and this is the 54 pattern. And that's a whole nother thing that you can get in. That's what I love about case knives, is you can collect them on so many different levels. You can collect the pattern itself. You could collect it on the shield. You could collect it on the, uh, you know, different uh, tank stamps. You know, you're looking at here's where when it was made. So you got your... Uh, dot patterns and and stuff you know so you have all the different ways you know people some people collect them you know based on certain years and stuff like that it's just really cool because you can really go down the rabbit hole with these and they're great work knives i carry uh you know this yellow trapper here that my wife gave me that's been almost a constant companion with me i i always have it or i carry it just about every other day We'll go with the uh, fit and finish on this one. As you can see, you know, no gaps, no, no real anything that I would call a problem at all. We can look at our blade centering and everything looks really nice and, and straight down the middle. I love these nice big thick blades that you get in a trapper pattern. And these just are absolutely great, uh, great work knives. Like I said, what we're looking at here, you have three and a quarter inch blades on both of them. Uh, you have brass pins and liners, nickel, silver, bolsters, and cap. Uh, you know, because this is your bolster, this is your cap. You get a really good size uh, cap. And they're just fantastic, fantastic knives. Anyways, I'm not going to bore you to death with all this stuff. This one's kind of a long video, but that's okay because I think you guys like to go through my collection at the moment as it stands. I think it looks pretty darn good. I need to add some more to it. Uh, I'm open to suggestions.
So if you guys have some uh, case trappers you think I ought to look for or ones that maybe I ought to put on the list ahead of others, uh, let me know because I sure would like to uh, like to know which way to take it next because, you know, this is one of my favorite patterns. There's tons of them out there. I absolutely, you know, dig it. So I hope you guys do too. Anyways, that's it uh, for this one. Be sure to check out the guys there, Doom Crew Outdoors and Big J's Knives. See if they, uh, you know, are something you want to check out. And then, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your week, guys. I will see you on uh, Fixed Blade Friday. I'll talk to you then.